Look at my face. I'm the captain now. How, how do we turn that up? Welcome back. As you guys seen in the last video, we did get this thing fired up. I'm so amazed how easy this thing fires. I didn't change anything to the tune, except that I changed the reluctor wheel from 24X to 58X when I went from Gen 3 to Gen 4 engine. Fuel pump. And then it died. Now obviously if we drove it, we'd make it like 17 feet. There's no alternator on it. There's no water pump hooked up. There's no fans hooked up. So we got wiring to do, we got alternator thing to do, and uh, charge piping. We might need front brake lines too. I also stole Smokey with the Chicken Slayer's alternator because you can tell that's where uh, it self-clearance itself on the hood. This one's been modified internally so it, it regulates itself at like 14.5. Which my other one only does 13.5, which is like a whole more volt. I don't know what that's gonna do, but a, a whole more volt sounds much more better. Hey Kyle, the smart thing to do would be to pull this one V-band clamp off, pull Big Bertha off, and then you can have full access at the alternator. Old ass 200,000 mile alternator on there. I haven't had much luck with this ICT billet setup. It's been chucking belts nonstop, so maybe we won't change anything and it'll get better. Wishful thinking, right? I've also got some smaller knockoff Deutsch connectors from Amazon, four pin one, that should work for our fans because the fan wires are like, that big. Really, we should just give her the old twisting tape. <laughs> Who's with me? Barrels go in this side. And honestly, I used to be scared of wiring, but these like, these open ones are super simple to use um, with the crimpy majiggies on them. You just need a pair of these pliers with thinger majiggers on them. And then the thinger majiggers bend over the thingy majigs when the wire's in there. And then, uh, yeah, that's easy, as easy as that. And then you clamp it around like the plastic part too. I'd show you, but I'll probably mess one or two up. I like to get mine seated in the pliers first and then shove the wire in there. Like that. Squeeze. Oh, here all your muscles, your bones crack. I'm gonna add a little bit long, but it is crimped on the wire. And now we just have to crimp the little end piece and then that's it. So these are just as easy as using butt connectors. So get yourself some, some nice connectors, boys. I think these are like five bucks each on Amazon. And I try to tell you how to spell Deutsch, but it's not how it's spelled like it sounds like Kernel. It's the same thing. The same guy who made Kernel made Deutsch. We get to plug it in. And now let's just see if we're not completely stupid. Okay, so one fan's coming on. The other one's not coming on, but I have a feeling it's because there's no relay in it. Wait a minute, I'm confused now. I have, that's probably the other fan wire right there because I have four power wires, but I only needed three things. Oh, I put it out here just in case, I think. And it was an extra wire that we brought out here. Oh, looky here, I was correct. Uh, the wiring in this thing's actually a total mess, but I have no intentions of redoing it right now. Also, the uh, labeling's a bit off, but uh, one fan, two fans, only fans. Let's test the water pump. Come on, big, big money, big money, no whammy. Ha, I heard it. Good enough for me. And it's all just tucked away on the side over here. It's this cable right here, and then it actually grounds right there on our motor plate. I got a weather trans brake in. Since I have some sort of like pro manual reverse valve body, something extra light cutting sense technology, I don't have reverse anymore on the shifter. So the only reverse I have is a trans brake in neutral. Kind of important I wired in, unless I want to push the car backwards, which I don't have a spoiler on the front to push it like a shopping cart. Under the car I go. And this button actually scares the shit out of me because there's nothing like holding back like a thousand horsepower on the line. It's just like building boost and building RPMs and you're like, how is this holding right now? And then you let go of the trans brake and it does a wheelie. So that's why it scares me. To assist in making reverse easier, there's actually this switch right here that will pop reverse on so you don't have to like hold the trans brake while backing up. You can just flick the switch on. Just don't forget on when you put it in first gear because then you're like locked in race mode. Easier to keep it simple, just some hose clamps to clamp up our fuse box. 
And this is the one that controls like the headlights and the interior um, indicators and all that stuff. Keep it simple, silly, Sally. Yeah, I'm watching the Canada Grand Prix practice. Uh, we got our Ric Flair tool. Woo! I can't do it because my voice is, yep. Um, these are 3AN lines. Like, I don't have a flare kit for 3AN. What I did was get adapters for 316. So what I'm gonna do is put, uh, just use this section right here, put a 316 one on, put an adapter, and then go to where I need to go, so. But to rectum this problem, I'm just gonna add an extra little section. I need brakes. Brakes are more important -er than not brakes. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch this with me alone while I do the Ric Flair things. Thank you for leaving me alone for a little bit there. Brake line is through. I also ran the power cable from here uh, down through there. The only thing I need is some P clamps now so I can clamp um, one side of the P clamp to the K member and then a smaller P clamp for the brake line and the power cable to run along that. I got my own janitor now. Yeah. Yeah. Help me sweep the floors over here because he said they're dirty. Yeah. They are kind of dirty. I just put the brakes, so now we have brakes ish. We'll find out after, but uh, one step closer. Smokio blew up our tire here. Blew a hole right in it. Uh, we do have some new tires and rims to go on it over there. Right here. Yep. So we'll get you to pull these ones off, which your ratchet fits on the side here. That fits right on the this? bolt. Yep, that fits on the bolt on the outside. Right. Yep. There. And now hold it like this. With one hand and then ratchet that side. So put it down and now ratchet back up. See, see what your ratchets will look. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty hard. It's got a lot of torque, doesn't it? All right, we got everything done except for the trunk lid. Um, hood pins and the wiring for the headlights here. Everything else is done. It's like 10 o'clock at night. We have the car show tomorrow at eight in the morning. I'm just gonna see if this will run and get up to operating temperature right now. And uh, that'll be the true test that we take it tomorrow. It might be midnight the day before, but it is done. None of the headlights or front bumper or anything lines up perfectly right now. Not by a long shot, but it's on there. It's the next morning, this is gonna be the true test. Let's go see if we can get some fuel in this thing and then uh, probably wash it off a little bit. Okay, but that's okay. Yeah. Was yours getting hot? Mine was getting hot. It was like, it didn't reach 210. No, think. mine was like 220 when I pulled in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Successful first drive, we made it to the car show. <laughs> we did. It's a his and hers. Yeah, true. <laughs> On the downside, we were both running a little warm when we got here. Yeah. I was running to a little To the point warm. where like you can't even open my hood in case something <laughs> like stands where it's squirting out. Yeah. <laughs> I am jacked. I guess uh, Gina's car is going on the dyno because we got a free dyno run. <laughs> what?
Here's Kyle being Kyle. Getting that thumbnail. What's your predictions? Uh, I want to say like 462. I'm going to go 469. <laughs> 469. The one said Ford Mustang or 95. What? I was one of the fastest climbers. Really? Dang. 485 horsepower, 472 foot pounds of torque. So like, how, how do we turn that up? What you do on the dial? a boost controller? 485. On like, no boost. No boost. It's on five pounds and we built it for life. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take a picture of it, but the wind is blowing it. How you feel? You want more boost now? Yeah, I want more boost! Okay. Those, you know those little Mac valves I told you about at home? No. Those are what give you more boost. Oh. Yeah. Hey, let's get some. You have some. You have to hook them in. Let's get some. Which one do you like better, the truck or the car? Black car. That's a Hellcat. Oh my gosh. Hey. <laughs> This truck's way fancier. Car. We're taking a couple vehicles back to the dealership because uh, Legacy sponsored this event. Um, Gina's over there in the Rubicon. <laughs> She's taking the Jeep Rubicon back and we're taking this. Uh, Bro, this is just like our car. I know, Ram Longhorn Edition, but it's got like, nicer seats, right? Uh-huh, but like, look, it says park and it has the whole screen. This is all the same, yeah. Yeah, but look, it's all like the same. Nice dash and stuff. She's growing up so fast. Look at her. You like, you like the Jeep? I like our truck better. This, this truck was really nice. What one is that, the long one? Yeah. Like, as much as I think it's a beautiful vehicle, I definitely... Not a Jeep person? Nah. I, I would rather have a Hellcat, or like our, our truck is nice, drives nice. This is like, you can tell it's meant for like really off-roading and stuff. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not really into that. So. That was a good day. It's time to go home now. <laughs> Look at my pants. I'm the captain now. I would call that a successful day. The car didn't break down. Okay, maybe I lied. It broke down one time. I made it about 50 feet out of the garage, and then I realized there wasn't enough transmission fluid in it when the car wouldn't move anymore. <laughs> so I had to grab transmission fluid, 
take it over to the road because I was parked like in the middle of the road, fill it up, and then it moved. And I just want to say Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there, and Happy Father's Day for all you fathers out there who don't know that you're fathers, or trying to be fathers, or just like pull out game was weak, bro. Now we might be down a little bit of brake pressure, gotta re-bleed the brakes. We might need a radiator duct, and we might need a little few odds and ends before we can take it on a full, long, long drive. And I did a lot of work on this off camera because I was really on a time crunch and I wanted to have it done for this Father's Day car show. I had it done at 9.17, and we had to be there by 10 o'clock. So that's how tight I was pushing it. Make sure you like the video. Peace easy, get to V.